if you're interested in figuring out what I did to get this look, then continue watching. <laughs> I decided that I would give you guys a hair review video actually because I don't know I feel like I always come on with you know different hair and you guys are probably wondering is she getting it done is it an install the gag is that this is actually a synthetic unit this is the Outre Nisha 208 and she is in the color DR Sienna Copper. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. But yeah, this unit features, um, it says it features an HD lace. And this is the lace that you're given. It's only a, I believe, what is this about? A five inch part. And I think, like I said, I didn't really customize anything with this. I literally cut the lace and just plopped it on. So I did no plucking, no nothing. And this is what the part is looking like. Um, this is a heat safe unit up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I typically don't um, put any um, direct heat on, the, on my hair unless it's like really late in me wearing it. Then I just go through with like a hot blow, like with a blow dryer. And then I use curlers, like curl foam rollers or like Velcro curlers to kind of like let it sit overnight and then let it loose. I don't really like putting direct heat because it messes with like with the longevity of my unit. The length of this unit, guys, it is a whopping 28 inches. I will show you where it ends on me. By the way, I am 5'10 and a half and it ends right here on me. So that is the longest it goes to. It's a permed yakky texture. So I'll let you know, it is not super silky. It is still giving that yakky vibe. Like you are like able to kind of run your hands through it more than you would probably like a silky unit by this time. As you can see, this is a, it's a yakky silky unit. It's not super, super shiny, which is what I really appreciate with this perm yakky texture. It's like more natural than usually the silkier units look. And I didn't have to go in with any like powder or, or like, scrunch it and rub it with any like fabric or dryer sheets let me go ahead and get into my personal feelings about the hair so i can just let you guys know some things that you know i like and don't like it has a good bit of snagging but other than that like for example i'm just sitting here it's obviously not going to get any snags because i'm not touching my hair so if you're not touching your hair all day and you don't mind just kind of it just being like this and not be able to run your hands through it then i mean maybe the snagging won't bother you but it is kind of like I'll say minimal snagging and the tangling. I feel like the tangling is like moderate. Like I think it's the average tangling that you would probably get with a silky yaki unit. So it's not as bad as like a silky unit at all, in my opinion, at all. Um, it does um, start to tangle at the nape per like normal. Like you already know the back of the neck area. It does kind of like start to clump together more than like the rest obviously just because it's rubbing against that skin and the fabric of your clothing it's not as bad as some units have been in two weeks before and i have worn this like kind of sort of daily and if not daily like every other day so again it's not bad but it's not my true cup of tea another thing the curls i'll say that the curls they're very nice they were much tighter and more formed on like day one and they did drop around like day like two or three they started to honestly drop like after day one which is surprising to me they didn't really hold their shape which is kind of interesting because usually synth synthetic units do hold their shape better but yeah so I'm getting kind of this more so like loose like beach curl I guess type vibe and it's pretty I know this can be remedied by like curling it maybe, but I don't know. Like these pieces in the front, they fall in such a weird way to where they cup under my face and it looks so unflattering. Like I've tried, I've tried so many things, but I don't know if it's the way they like permed it or the way they like set it, but like it's so hard to maintain like these curls in the front. Like I do not know what the heck is going on with them. And I feel like it's one of those things that will annoy 
a lot of people is the fact that it's really hard to like train this hair. I don't really get it. I mean, I might actually have to put some like direct heat on those pieces to get it to like stay like that. But I mean, honestly, that's like really all my cons. Snagging, general tangling that I usually am not used to getting with my like more yakky units. So that's kind of a con to me. And then like, you know, the nape bitch tangling, these pieces annoying me. And, but yeah, I mean, that's really all. Okay, so the pros of this unit are the color's amazing. I absolutely love the color. The color job is beautiful. It looks so natural. I mean, I can't. Second, the body, the volume is gorgeous. It's not overdoing it. It's not underdoing it. It's not super, it's flat enough at the top that it looks natural to me. And then it has that volume that's kind of just sitting in the middle that I really like as well. The cut is really nice. The layers are very, very, very nice in my opinion. We have long, we have mid, we have our shorter like bangs, sort of like curtain bangs going on right here, which I really like if they would stay like that. I love units that are 28 inches long because I am 5'10 and a half. So it lets me have my long hair, like long to moderate hair moment, which I really appreciate. Um, also, it fit perfectly over my head the ear tabs they sit they sit pretty well on my head honestly like like they sit they sit well and I could um probably put them down with like glue or tape and it'd be fine so yeah the ear tabs are good they're not hurting me or anything like that I said they fit an average size head so it's adjustable I did adjust the strap so I think that yeah if you have a bigger head you'll be fine I don't think that this should be like too big for smaller heads either because I'm not like even like fully adjusted so I think it has enough adjustability for smaller size heads as well I was very surprised to see that this unit has like no shedding really at all I actually haven't ran a brush through her yet I've only just been like finger detangling her really and she's doing pretty good another pro for this wig is that it only cost me $34.99. I mean, overall, there are just more pros than cons. I give it like a solid like 7 out of 10. I mean, I think it's really nice. The curls are very pretty. It looks very realistic. It's not overly shiny. The length is amazing for anyone wanting that length on them. The color is really good. Um, the lack of shedding is one of my favorite things. So I love that. Wish it was more yakky, but again, the texture not being all the way silky is making me like her more so that's also you know really good and attributing to that seven rating but yeah this is nisha 208 you guys please make sure to like comment and subscribe and also don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be notified once i post new videos and content on my channel but yeah thank you guys so much for watching <laughs>